hello guys welcome back to another Randout studio tutorial from this video onwards we are going to learn about what are the apis are available for storage in android framework so in this video we are going to learn about shared preferences api so before going to create an example of shared preferences api you must have some theoretical concepts about shared preferences so in this video I am going to show you a simple presentation that will give you the basic concepts of how to use shared preferences API for saving relatively small amount of data. So now we can start the presentation. You can use the sh framework shared preferences API for saving a relatively small type of data. For example, you can save app settings such as user login status notification status user preferences etc shared preferences api save the data in the form of key value pair shared preferences api provide simple methods for read and write data each shared preferences file is managed by the android framework and can be private or shared so now we can learn about how to use shared preferences api in your android application so the first step we have to obtain a handle to these shared preferences you can create a new shared preferences file or accessing an existing one by calling one of the two methods so here is the first method the method is get shared preferences you can use this method if you need multiple shared preferences file identified by names. You can use this method on any context of your application. So here is a simple example. So first here uh, we get a context object. So here we get the activity context and here create a reference to shared preferences. And here we call the method get shared preferences using the context object. So this method need two parameters. First one is the key for the shared preferences file. And second one is the opening mode. So here we use the opening mode as context mode private. That means this shared preferences file available only for this application. No other application can access this shared preferences file. So here we obtain the key from the strings.xml file uh, when you naming a shared preferences file try to use a string that uniquely identifiable so it is better to use your application package name that make your shared preferences key a unique one if you use the access specifier mode private then only your app can access that file if you use the access specifier mod word readable or mod word writable then any other apps can know the file identifier can access it so here is the second method get preferences it every activity have a default shared preferences file associated with it you can use get preferences method for accessing the shared preferences file associated with an activity context. The default shared preferences file associated with an activity does not need a file name. Here is an example. So here we access a shared preferences available with an activity. So first create an object of shared preferences. So by using the context, we call the method get preferences. So here there is no need to specify the file name. Instead, uh, here there is only one parameter that is the opening mode. So now we can learn about how to write to shared preferences. For write to shared preferences file, you have to get an object of editor by calling the edit method on shared preferences object. You can pass the key value pair to the editor object by calling appropriate methods such as put int, put string, etc. And finally, call the commit method or editor object for save the changes. Here is an example. 
So first we create an object of shared preferences. Then you have to create an object of editor. So for creating an editor object, simply call edit method on the shared preference object. So here we are going to save some integer value to the shared preferences. So but first thing you we have to submit that data to the editor object. So here it is an integer. So we use this method put int. If it is a string, you have to use put string. If it is a boolean, you have to use put boolean. So the first parameter is the key for the data and second parameter is the data itself. And finally, you have to call the commit method for save the changes. So now we can learn about how to read from shared preferences. For read data from shared preferences, you have to call the method such as get int and get string on shared preferences object. This method need two parameter, key for the value, default value to return if the key is in present. So here is an example. So here all, the first step is to get an object to shared preferences. So here the default value is get from the strings.xml. And here we call the get int method on the shared preferences object. So if the key is not found, it will return the default value. I hope you understand the basic concepts of how to use shared preferences in Android application. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.